when people are saying fight Ronda or whatever, I think this is a better fight for you. I mean, look. Oh, 100%. Chris is a scary, scary fighter. Don't yep. get me wrong, but I, I, I think just watching your fights, I mean, and, and I guess this is your boxing background, is you like to stand, stand and bang. And yep. you know Chris... Oh, likes man. to likes to trade as well, where you know Ronda's first attempt would be like to take Latch you down, up. right? Yeah. So, I think in that sense, it's actually a better fight for you. Oh, definitely. Um, in saying that, like, there's you know talk that Chris is wanting to get her first submission victory, which I was actually surprised that she hasn't had a submission victory in, throughout her career. But that's because her first instinct is just to stand and bang, and I'm like that too. I'd if I've got top position, it's a, like you know good submission position i wouldn't give up that you know for the submission i definitely still want to like strike it's just i think when you've got that killer instinct and i can see that she's got that um just like when she gets hit you know she wants to hit back it's like um you know you watch the nunez fight look at her there she was just swinging because she's just got like she was getting tagged but it was just her nature to want to keep returning and that's uh, um you know did you take anything away from that nunez fight like is there something that you saw in that fight that you're like Oh, yeah, I definitely took a few things. And I like I said it for years that people just needed to do exactly what Amanda did, was stand and fight her. Like, don't get me wrong, she of course she's a scary person and, and her presence in the cage and you've got someone coming forward. But if you show that fear to her, she feeds off that. And Amanda didn't. She stood there and, you know, she gained respect. But in saying that, they both were swinging. Like it could have, you know, you re- repeat that exact same fight again and it could have ended completely different. And it's unfortunate that the two of them didn't get a rematch. Um, but obviously, yeah, that's um, the UFC's loss and Bellator's gain and my gain. And um, I'm just super glad that the fight's happening and I got to stay with Bellator and, and yeah, things aligned in my, in my favour, I believe.